from the many ways Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one way he has described him is by saying that he has the best of akhlaq, he has the best of character. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came into this world to teach us two things. Number one is our ibadat, i.e. how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do we need to do? on getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In terms of my deen and my religion, what does it tell me to do on how to live as a productive Muslim in terms of my worship? That that encompasses things like your salah, your fasting, your song, your zakat, your hajj, and all the other small branches that are connected to our ibadat. On the other side, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also came to teach us our mu'ashara which is our social life on how to deal with friends and family, how to speak with one another, how to get along with one another, how to deal with one another. Um, and unfortunately, when we actually look at our lifestyles today, we've given more focus to our ibadat and we've overlooked our ma'ashara. We've overlooked our social life. And we'll find that many of us are maybe, if, it, if we was to grade ourselves, maybe a star, uh, or distinct when it comes to our ibadat. MashaAllah, we are fasting, we are giving charity, we are regulars in the masjid, we are attending courses. Um, MashaAllah, we are punctual with our salah, we are reading the Holy Quran, we do dhikr on a regular basis, and so on and so forth. But that same individual, when it comes to our social life, our family system is upside down. Uh, we're not really, uh, we don't have a really good connection with our children. Um, our uh, bond and our relationship with our parents is not really good. Um, when it comes to dealing with individuals, our dealing is not so good. When it comes to speaking to individuals, we've got a very harsh tongue. So, the point of this video is that we all need to really focus on our social life. And um, the reason why, as a community, we are failing in the social aspect is because we are really far away from the teachings of the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We should pick up the books of Seerah, we should pick up the books of Hadith and really study the way Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us social life. It's a very important aspect, the way we need to speak with one another, the way we need to deal with one another, the way, the way we need to sit with one another, the way we need to do transactions and dealings with one another. These are all things that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us. Um, from the minute we wake up to the moment we go to bed, our entire day-to-day -day life, our general needs and what we need to do, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us from the minute we wake up to the moment we go to bed. So use this time wisely and really reflect and ask yourself that in terms of my social life, where do I actually rank? Alhamdulillah, I may be ranking really well in terms of my ibadat and my worship, but when it comes to my social dealings and my social self, where do I actually rank? How am I with my friends and family? How am I with my spouse and my children? How am I with my illness? How am I with my um, extended family members? How's my dealings? How do I come across? These are all things that we really, really, really need to think over. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easier for us. If you've benefited from this video, please like, share and subscribe. Share it with your family and friends so they can also benefit as well. Remember me in your sincere duas everybody. My name is Muhammad Ali. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.